Hey, what's up? First, first, I want to say, dude, I was just watching your video. You're such an asshole, bro. Why? Um, damn, man, like, I just feel like you should, like, you're supposed to be, like, sort of, like, a neutral kind of a guy who, like. Well, I mean, that's you, why, should we start this? No, I like, mean, you're, I, you're, that's why I have you on here. But you're, you're supposed to be reporting facts, not, like, not, like, fiction, you know? Not, like, opinions and not, like, stuff that's that's not proven yet, you know? Like, you're, you're supposed to be a news channel where people go to to, like, find out, like, cold, hard facts and. I honestly like you just stopped me. I was literally just watching this. Vi Someone told me that you posted a video, so I was watching half of your video. I got half through it, and I mean, there's just so many loopholes as far as like stuff that wasn't even like fact checked as far as you know some of the things that were going around about me. So I mean, anyways, that's just me kind of like getting into it because I'm I'm in, I'm literally just like fresh out of watching half of your last video. Um, uh I do. I do appreciate you giving me credit for being um, such a boss ass tattoo artist and every you know tattooing everyone and being involved in the circle. So that's kind of cool. Um, but I know obviously we're not here to talk about that. So um, yeah, man. If you have any questions or if you want me to just kind of make some comments, uh, first thing I think that everyone wants me to well, address. Well, let me let me let me do it like an introduction or something here because okay. like we're just we're just kind of free talking here. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Romeo on the line. Uh, Romeo, you have some serious allegations against you. Um, are you guilty of these things? Um, I want to say that some are real and some are fabricated. So I think that the situation is out to make it look a lot, a lot, lot worse than it really is. And I feel in today's social media and day and age, with you know Photoshop and you know having multiple accounts and different kind of things, it's like really easy to sort of manipulate situations and make things work, make things look a lot worse than they really are. Um, I, uh, I do. Well, were you sexting wanna... with fourteen and fifteen year old girls? Well, here's the thing. So, just to kind of get straight into that, and this will go. First, with my first comment, I was going to say a lot of people have been asking me why I've deactivated my Twitter and they're saying, dude, it makes you look guilty, blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't think that people really understand. Like, it's easy for someone to be on the other side of the keyboard and they want to be involved in something that they think is, you know, very gallant and, and, and they're doing like, you know they're involved for something for the greater good by like calling someone out but i just feel like when you don't know all the facts and people are kind of banding together and attacking what, someone what facts are we missing well first of all i deleted my twitter because of the Im immense amount of hate i was getting um and like i said most people didn't know the full situation um why, why and, didn't you defend yourself on twitter why didn't you put out a defense saying hey this is wrong. Here's the full situation. I mean, honestly, like, I, I could not even get a breath out on Twitter. Like, as my Twitter started blowing up. My girlfriend started getting hate mail. My brother, every one of my family members, like, stuff started going viral. Yeah, but, my I mean, if you were innocent, why didn't you just put out a tweet saying, hey, this isn't true. Um, you know, we're, we're looking into it. Like, I didn't send these messages. I mean, first of all, did you send these messages to these girls? 14 and 15 were you sexting with them um so here's 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 one of the big loopholes is i don't know if you've seen like the messages and all this stuff that's going on but i've been accused of shit like this before and there's you know there's like no proof that any of these girls were that age it's just more like there's sort of like these fake accounts well like, okay I, well I, here's the thing in the conversation I, that you had with the alleged girls um, there's a part where you say, um, you know, are you willing to do it before uh, yes. you turn 18? Yes. So let me address that. So that I'm not going to deny that was real. But here's here's the twit. Here's here's the big loop about it. Here's the big sort of like, you know, fabrication, smoke and mirrors or whatever that everyone's not getting to see is that 
you know, the a lot of these girls, let me, I'll just make a quick backtrack. I'll keep it really short. When this, this happened in 2016, this was like three years ago. I was in a completely different time of my life. Um, I was new to like social media. I was new to like the fame. I was new to people giving me attention on social media and, and, and sort of like girls being flirty and throwing themselves at me. And honestly, like I didn't really understand the whole like Twitter community where people have all these like fake accounts, these fan accounts, these sort of like impersonation accounts where they lie about their age and they do this and they do that. So, you know, I'm over here just minding my own business. You know, girls are throwing themselves at me. You know, some of these girls, the one in particular that we're referring to, um, told me that she was almost 18 years old, which I understand is not, you know, that does not make the situation much better. But there's no way in hell, like, I'm so against, you know, people who are creepy and, and pedophiles and stuff like that. Like, I would never, ever, 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 like, I almost felt like someone telling me that they were almost 18 was, like, the hard limit, you know? And Right, but like, they were they were a part of your fan, like, you had this fan group that they created, right? So well, here, here's you, the talked, thing, oh. you talked to all of them, and then you selected, like, two of them, from what I understand, to talk more in depth about some kinky stuff. Um, here's the thing, though, is that, like, a lot of them had, you know, they were fan accounts. A lot of them, you couldn't really tell who they were. They all, almost all of them were lying about their age. And I didn't even realize that this girl, apparently, apparently this, this girl told me that she was 18, almost 19. This is in 2016, so... From my knowledge, she's got to be like 21, 22 now at this point. I didn't even realize that she apparently was, you know, if if it's even true that she was that that young because she told me otherwise. And what I'm trying to say is like I was new to social media. I was new to fame. And, you know, girls, I feel like, you know, the, the thing that you don't see and is, and I'm sure that a lot of people, if you actually look online, a lot of people are confirming this. A lot of the stuff is Photoshop. Like, yes, some of it is true, but they're rearranging the conversation to make it look like I was sort of like reaching out to these underage girls, which in in actuality, these girls came on to me first. Yeah, they're fangirls. They're they're yeah. young fangirls that love you and love your stuff and think you're hot and you know, want to do you. They're fangirls. Yeah. And it's yeah, like so if you take advantage of those fangirls, especially if they're underage, and you're doing some stuff like that's like a big, big no, 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 you're 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 absolutely right. But as I mentioned before, um, they I had no clue that they were that young. Like when so they are you saying that there's some I understand that there's parts of these DM conversations that have been taken away. But are you are you suggesting that there was stuff at it? Because I don't, I don't really think that's the case. No, I'm not saying there were things added. Like, so I'm, you know, everything we read on the Drumbler before was correct. It okay, just well, wasn't in order, is what you're saying, because some I'm, stuff has been taken out. I'm a human being, and you know, every everyone's got like a sexual side. You know, like I'm not ashamed for some of the sexual things that I'm into and the things that I said in the videos. Like, I mean, in the in the in the comments, right? I my problem, you know, and I'm sure a lot of people will, will agree with that. Like. It's, it's, it's all good and fun for people to make fun of and say, oh, you know, you might be part gay and this and that. And I got all these different gay celebrities hitting me up or whatever now. But like it's almost turned like into kind of more of a joke. But the point I'm trying to make is 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 that wasn't really the problem. The problem is like I had a really a personal conversation with someone who I was under the impression was literally close to being 18 and I did not have any kind of physical communication with any of these girls. These girls, in my opinion, and I don't want to just like try to defend myself, but I almost feel like I was sort of taken advantage of in a sense because it's like I didn't have a whole lot of followers. They, you know, reached out to me saying sexual stuff. They lied I, about. But the they, thing they, is, but, but the thing is, is like at the time you were like 27 or 28 years old. All right. If this girl says I'm almost 18 and sh and you know she's she's not telling you that she's legal and you pursue her sexually, you're in the wrong. I mean, you're the adult. You're the you're the adult, man. 
You know, and they, now what? they're coming out saying they were 15 to 14 at the time. Bro. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. But I also feel like we, okay, you're absolutely right. Like, I, all I want to say to defend myself is this. Look, you kind of know me a little bit. The yeah. face guys knows me. And I'm, I'm not just trying to throw people under the bus. I am very well respected in this community. I've tattooed every YouTuber from across the fucking map all the way to, you know, Kodak Black rappers. That's Beast true. World. That's yeah. true. And I have, I've had my tattoo shop for four years. I have never had a single complaint of any girl in whatsoever. I am literally the most careful person to give girls the utmost respect for their dignity, their sexuality, and their, you know, just their body. No, and, I, 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 listen, no, on, no, no, all, no. on all accounts, you're and, a nice dude. And like, no, no, I, let me finish. I just, I'm, all I'm saying is that some of this stuff, in my opinion, just doesn't make sense. Like, you guys are comparing, you know, like, stuff from 2016 is surfacing now like how many of you guys were different three years ago not saying that like obviously not everyone was a night and day difference but right i know for me i was in a completely different world three days ago, like uh, and three years ago i was in a completely different mind state you know i get um, that i totally understand that but we're talking about like a child predator like i mean targeting young girls uh, another girl came out um and said that she's known you all the way back to the MySpace days when you were an adult and would date 14 year olds, including herself, you dated her. Another girl that we interviewed here on Drum Alert, um, who's friends with Luna, uh, she wanted to remain anonymous, your, your ex girlfriend from 10 years ago, said that you were 19 that's, that's or. That's exactly what it is. Said she wants to. Can I say her name? Because if she wants to go on here and put me on blast, she might as well. Uh, I mean, I can't stop you from saying her name, but. Okay, yeah. Lindsay Montiero. I, I friends with Luna. I dated her back when I was like 19 years old. And, and she and she was 14, right? I don't believe that she was 14 at all. Um, I oh, know actually, her. I take that back. I remember her saying that she may have been 15. I think she might have been late 15 possibly it, this is this is me being extreme she may have been late 15 i remember her being more like 17 but i dated her for about three years i lived in her house i moved in with her house her parents were completely cool with it we slept in completely separate be separate bedrooms um, she said you I, peed on her <laughs> i don't remember that and, and it and I, it traumatized her like in a it, really it traumatized her that's what like, she said Oh, my God. Dude, but, I mean, dude. okay, so two different girls have come out and said, hey, he was an adult and started dating me when I was 14 okay. or, in this case, 15. Let me say this. Let me say this because I don't feel like I'm getting a chance to defend myself. As far as as far as far Lindsay, my ex-girlfriend, she had told me that she had been – she had, before I dated her, she had dated guys that were older than me. There was a much larger age difference from guys that were older than me. She had told me she had done many sexual things with those people older than me. Um, I honestly, I, I really liked her a lot. I, I isn't that I kind of isn't that kind of irrelevant though? Like, it, no, I'm just saying I I did my best to treat her, you know, with respect, and I was really I really really liked her. I treated her like a princess. I moved in with her family. I got in really close to her family. I mean, she said you peed on her. Okay, but well, where's the proof? That's What's what she case? said. I'm just saying. You're, I mean, you're telling me that you treated her with all kinds of respect. She's telling me she's traumatized because you peed on her. But look, look. At the end of the day, we know that there has been an inappropriate, over the top, inappropriate conversation between you and underage girls okay. in 2016. You're right. you're right. Let me ask you this: Where is the cold hard proof? Because I'm admitting, I'm agreeing, I'm admitting that some of that stuff, yes, it's real. But I feel like a lot of it is being fabricate, fabricated, photoshopped, what? and twisted wait, wait, to, wait. Make it look, to make it look like they're not flirting with me, they didn't reach out to me, and that I'm just sort of like this person who's just going after all these girls, when in reality, that's the furthest thing from, from the truth. Listen, you know? uh, listen I don't think I, – I think everyone here understands and will give you the benefit of the doubt that these girls definitely came on to you because they are fangirls. They literally – were in charge of your fan club, so uh, everybody gives you that credit. But you are the had, you're um, the adult. <laughs> if you start telling these fan girls who are underage that.
that, you know, you want them to lick your asshole and you want them to come in a shot and have them drink. Bro, that's fucked up, dude. That's like, th like, that's a crime, bro. <sighs> Look, Keem, I, all I can say is that I'm absolutely, you know, if, if I've done, if, I, if I've made anyone feel uncomfortable, if anyone feels like they've been taken advantage of, I personally feel like I thought I did my best, okay? I thought that, I thought I was educated by the situation. I feel like I wasn't fully aware of the situation. I understand it doesn't make an excuse. This is 2016. I was new to fame. It's com It was a completely different scenario for me. Now, I literally have not been on my phone DMing people for three fucking years. Like, I don't even get on my phone because I understand how people on the internet are. I understand what you said, what you're saying. It is gross. It is fucked up. I mean, if people want to do that between consensual people, shit, everyone's got a freaky side. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, I, I, Adults are fine, but I mean, these are these are kids. Like, no, I have a right. niece who's 14 years old, all right? And I, I know what a 14-year-old looks like, right? Okay, but and let me to, ask you for, if I'm, I'm just trying to imagine this. Like, if some 28-year-old started, like, sending her the messages that you sent to this 14 and 15-year-old girl, yeah, I'd lose my mind. I, I, I would okay. absolutely lose my mind. You're you're right, dude. I'm the same way with you. I have, I have. Listen to me. I have four, four girls, bro. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I think about that shit all the fucking time. I'm with you. But what do you mean you have four girls? I have four sisters. Like I have sisters, and they're all between the ages of 12 and 16. And it's just like I, I totally agree with you, bro. I totally agree with you. I am, I am all for this, bro. Like I really 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 like you can ask any customer who's ever came into my shop for the last four years i treat them all with the utmost respect i've never flirted with them no but it's not Nothing. it's not it's not about that it's about what's happening it's let, not about let, what's here if i could talk real quick it's there, bro I'm, I'm getting there i'm getting there it's not about I, what's happening I, in the public listen, listen i have sisters i know exactly what you mean they mean the world to me i would never disrespect my sisters or i feel like when i look at them like i could like i could never understand a girl that age being disrespected but at the same time, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is I feel like the situation is not portraying the whole story. I feel like they're, they're, things are being manipulated to make me look worse and they're not showing the full thing. I, if I had known that these girls were 13, 14 or 15, I would have never given them the time of day. Never, never. I mean, I you're admitting it in the DMs knowing that they're underage. No, I don't. I don't. I admit it in the DM because this is what I'm trying to tell you. You're seeing part of the conversation. Before that, the girl tells me she's almost 18, right? So I was kind of like, uh, Do you okay. have that proof? Huh? Do you have that proof? No, I deleted all my stuff because I'm in a serious relationship with my girlfriend. I don't want to just have like DMs laying around of me, you know? I mean, you keep you keep saying like this has been fabricated. Da, da, da. I just, I don't know, dude. Like, it just, it doesn't seem that way. And listen, okay. I'm not the only, and, 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 and you keep talking about like, people know you and they come to the shop and you don't disrespect anyone that's in the public eyes we're not talking about the public eyes we're talking okay. about dms we're talking about how you're acting in the shadows and how a lot of people are alarmed in fact i'm not the only one that thinks like whoa something's wrong here uh i just heard that james charles completely deleted his collaboration with you and that um a bunch of other clients have dropped out i mean they obviously are thinking the same thing that i'm thinking along with everyone else that actually the collaboration with James has been down for a long time, and that's to do with his brother uh, wanting to get tattooed, and it, it just it was not, not up to code with health regulations, and and there was just like permits and stuff that were not there. The video has been down for months. I had, the video has nothing to do with 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 this situation at all. I just saw a bunch of reports today that he took it down because of that, but you know maybe maybe they're wrong. Look, I. I'm with you, man. Look, I. Do you want I, to make an apology to the yeah, to these girls? Listen, listen to me, like I I I consider myself to be a good person. I really do. I try my very 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 hardest to always do the right thing. I'm not perfect, man. I'm not perfect, and I sure as hell wasn't perfect in 2016 when it, when this whole shit was new to me. No, it's not an excuse. Okay, I am telling you for a fact. I did not know the age of these girls. A lot of these girls were 
being manipulating and they were cutting out parts of the conversations. I'm telling you, even if you take a closer look at what the conversation. What part of the conversation do they cut out that's most important that people them, should know? I'm just saying, them flirting with me, them telling me that they're of age or close to of age, them just diff- there's just different parts that just like would make it more seem like it's not as bad as it really is. You know what I'm I mean, saying? Even if, even if they're, even if they're, let's say they're close to 18, you're 28. What are you doing with close to 18 girls? Um, I mean, if I was, if it was 2016, I mean, I just turned, I was, I was 29. So I was honestly close to 20, 26, 27. Not that that makes anything a whole lot better. I get it. But at the same time, look, I'm going to be honest, man. Like I'm not trying to just make excuses, but you already know this. Like these girls always look older than they really are, and then they lie about their age. And it's hard for people online to uh, know. A fourteen-year-old and a fifteen-year-old, they 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 look like at the okay. absolute most maybe seventeen. Okay, but you know? no one. You're not no going to see a fourteen or fifteen-year-old girl that looks like she's twenty-one. Like you're just but not going to see that. No one told me fourteen, fifteen, or sixteen. Actually, there's not even any proof that they were that age. You're just reading a a, a comment on a tweet. That says that they were that age. So, I mean, you know, they're saying that they were that age, and you're saying, "Hey, do you want to wait until you're 18 to do it?" I mean, but, I'm but sorry, bro, but that's like your guilt. Okay. Case closed, you know. But I mean, that's that's what I'm trying to tell you, though. That's manipulation, and that's why I feel like, honestly, like I am apologetic, and I will give I will give a really good apology. But this is why I feel like somewhat of a victim, and somewhat like they trap like. These kids come on here trying to trap celebrities because they they didn't tell me that. They told me 17, but then they're gonna cut off that they're gonna cut off that 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 comment, that that DM okay. that said So they told you 17. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. You still told a 17 year old that you know all this crazy shit. Okay. Okay. Um look. I I've I've always mean well, always, okay? Um I've always mean well. From the very beginning of my heart, from everyone that you know, you and I know personally, like I've always been a good guy. And I've been like that my whole life. Like I'm not perfect. I understand that I made some mistakes in the past and I definitely want to apologize whether it's to How how is your I, girlfriend reacting to all this? My girlfriend is fucking devastated. She is literally on the verge of leaving me if she hasn't already my mom is crying her eyes out for the last two days everyone i have a shop a business with other artists who are taking a hit and suffering because kids or people are called kids and people are calling the shop and you know like this has honestly been super devastating not only to me but everyone around me it's hard but are there are there more are there more girls out there that you've had these interactions with it's the same it's the same people who tried to bring stuff up every six months i guess this time they just managed to make it look you know i don't know if they got how they got more traction but i got a i got a youtube comment on um on my last youtube video about you um from uh this user who said that she followed you in like early 2018 on instagram when you only followed 60 other people one of those accounts was the DDLG, a DDLG account. What is DDLG? Okay, so if I like to follow uh, a sexual account on Instagram and like to see sexual art, like how, how is that? How am I being crucified for that? Like, well, you're, I, the, I'm just asking you about this DDLG because it has something to do with like older guys and really young girls, right? really it just has it's like it's like kinky stuff but you know you guys want to follow you know riley ray and 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 porn stars that that no 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 no, no. that's all fine i'm just talking about stuff that's underage girls because this other girl hit me up on twitter and she goes ask romeo about how he's into ddlg relationships daddy dumb little girl He's been like this since he lived in San Diego. Or he's been trying to pick up underage girls since the MySpace days. I was one of them, and I know girls who he has dated. I'm sorry. Listen to me, okay? I'm just, I'm just gonna lay this out real flat, bro. Like, give me two seconds. I'm gonna lay this out. That's from a, a little Lou Voss on Twitter. Okay, listen to me. I don't think that people should be condemned 
and made feel bad for their sexual preferences. You know, some people like they like the bonded shit. They kind of like the role playing, the cosplaying. Like, if I'm into some freaky shit, I should be able to be in some, in some freaky shit. Are you I, into kids though? Because it seems no, 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 that way. I'm not, I'm not into. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not. I'm not into kids. My girl right now does not look like a fucking kid. Like. I, dude, someone told me, another YouTuber reached out to me and said that you started dating your current girlfriend when she was underage. Is that true? No. She was 18 years old. Was it on her birthday you started dating her? No. It was after her birthday. I couldn't even get you to date. She was past 18 when I started dating her. Okay. Well, I uh, that's what I was told, is that you were secretly dating her when she was like 17 and you know, or whatever. If you look at my girlfriend right now, she looks like a glammed up like beauty girl. She doesn't look like some sort of like underage... like. She well, how old like, is your girlfriend now? She's 22. 22? Yeah. And you've been with but, her since. So you were talking to these girls at the same time, the the 14 and 15-year-old girl at the same time you so, were with? No? Yeah. So this is also an, a big problem is like, you know, me and my girlfriend, we had, you know, a lot of argue At the very beginning of our relationship, we were long distance. There was some arguments and stuff going wrong. I made the mistake of turning... To people on social media who were, you know, girls who were down to give me attention. And now that I honestly see it for what it is, it's all nothing but a fucking trap. But, you know, it's a I trap was, if they're underage, which appears a lot of these girls were. I, OK, I did not willingly know that these some of these girls were underage. You keep telling me like these girls were underage, these girls were underage. I'm telling you, I didn't know. I mean, like, you, you did no know. You did know. I mean. We're, we're going in circles, but you say right here, okay. do you want to wait yeah. until you're 18 or I, I'm sorry. I cannot like, I can't just okay. give you okay. the win. Let, like, cause you're, use, cause you're not, let, what you're saying is not right. Let me use your own ammo. I, I'm going to turn your own ammo against you. Okay. You're telling me, okay, you said, oh, do you want to wait till you're 18? Where before that does it say I'm 14, I'm 15 or where before that does it say I'm almost 18? It's left for interpretation. You just have that one clip and then people just have to assume or people just see other people commenting and saying, oh, that girl was 14, 15. Where's the proof, though? That's what she, I'm trying to tell she, you. The proof is that she's telling you that she's not 18. And then you knowing that she's not 18 are saying stuff like, will your parents care if you come over? Like you literally invited this girl to come to your house to do all these sexual stuff with you. It's all in the conversation. And you know that she's not 18. I mean, okay. That's you know case what? I closed. Want, like, I don't, I don't want to put this girl on blast because honestly, like I understand this girl. I'm not sure what the motive is for these people, but this girl was sending me sexual shit telling me she would go to parties, hook up with people. She's had boyfriends, blah, 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 blah. These, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was the out. kids. You're the adult. You're the adult. You're like 27, 28 years old at the time. You're the adult. I, listen, okay. we're going in circles. I, I just want to know one final thing. Do you think that your career is done and over with, or do you think you'll get past this? Do you think you might get arrested? Like, do you think, what do you think is going to happen from all this? No, I don't think my career is over. I mean, like, I think that this is obviously like extremely devastating. I feel like I've definitely like this whole last two days has been an absolute nightmare and I'm sure it's not planning on stopping anytime soon. Um, again, I just want to, you know, finish this interview. I just, you know, like I feel like the full story isn't out and it's making me out look worse than what it is. But regardless of that, I just want to make an apology and just apologize not only to my friends and my family who have deeply hurt and also the girls who are involved in this. And if, any girl out here feels like, you know, whether they were, you know, taken advantage of or manipulated or anything. I just want, I just want everyone to know that that definitely was not my motive at all by any means. I feel like social media is a very like crazy, crazy, crazy world, dangerous world. Things are easy to get mixed up and it's easy for, you know, very to dangerous, be very dangerous. It's really dangerous, man. Social media is so fucking dangerous. Like, Part, I delete my Twitter, man. The Twitter's the fucking devil, bro. Like, Well, listen, about the Twitter before we go. Uh, about the Twitter, uh, I have a bunch of people getting in contact with me saying that they have damaging uh, DM conversations with you um, that are on Twitter that they can't get to because your account's deactivated. Are you ever going to make it active again? I don't know, man. To be completely honest, I just feel like... 
Because, I mean, part of it's like if you don't make it active again, then those people can't get the proof that they have against you. And it's like, I don't know. I mean, I also feel like it doesn't matter what I get people. People will Photoshop and twist things around. It's almost like I'd rather just... Yeah, like, I, get, I get that, but these are real. They're like literally taking a video. They're taking like video proof that these DMs and conversations are real. And like you, you've admitted that they're real. I've admitted that some of it was real. I've admitted that some of it was fabricated. Some of it what, was... Was any was anything actually fabricated or are you just saying parts were cut out? Parts were cut out. That's okay. what I'm trying to say. So it's not parts. fabricated. It's not photoshopped. It's not fabricated. It's no, not okay. photoshopped. It's not fabricated. Yeah. Just okay, like, yeah, I said some sexual stuff. I mean, I didn't know, you know, her age, whatever. But stuff was taken out to make it seem like, you know, like I was trying to go after these girls when in reality, these girls lied about their age, came on after me. And I mean, like I said, if, you know, I'm not sure why they felt the need to do that. But it's if, just it's just weird that, you know. You know, they told you they were underage, and then you pursued them sexually. I, and then okay. also you had girlfriends that you dated that were underage. I mean, it's just, it's it, it appears that you're in to underage girls. I'm definitely not. Definitely not. I mean, I feel like sometimes when you're like, you know, I don't want to make excuses and make myself look bad, but... You know, sometimes when you're not that good looking and you're not that cool and you don't have that many, you know, followers and you, you're not really popping for anything, like people give you attention, you know, and you just like, it's nice to be getting attention from people. And I'm not saying that have, like, have you ever watched how to catch a predator? Like all those, all the conversations that they read to those guys that go to the house that are trying to hook up with an underage girl. It's, it's all pretty much the same as these DM conversations. You know, they they admit that they're underage and they start saying freaky stuff to each other. Guy shows up. I mean, you know, I mean, dude, this is what I have to say, man. Stuff like this happens to people all the time. I mean, look at Tyga and Kylie whenever, you know, Kylie was underage. You know, no, everyone's like, oh, he's waiting till he's, you know, she's 18 to, to fuck her or whatever. They all knew that she was that he was fucking her. Like, there's so many people. This, this shit goes on all the time. And obviously... Not making any kind of excuses, but you know me. You know more than me. I'm sure you could name a lot more than I can of stuff oh, that's simple. Oh yeah, simple. it's it's definitely it's definitely yeah. a problem. But man, yeah, I yeah. mean, these were little kids. These were 15 to 14 years old. All listen, saying, listen, we're just we're we're pretty much just going in circles here. Um, let me just wrap things up. I just want to say, like, if I've offended anyone or if I've made anyone feel uncomfortable any kind of way. That's not my character. That's not my nature. I'm not the same person that I was three years ago. Um, I'm deeply, deeply sorry if I've offended anyone who who are just watching this on the internet and see, and hearing about this. For the girls that were involved, like I didn't know that you know this was something that was troubling or bothering you. Um, I I strive really hard to be. Well, it probably really wasn't cool. bothering them at the time because they were fangirls of you and looking up to you as a hero. Yeah. But yeah. when they got older, they realized, oh, my God, like this guy did some really and said some really horrible things about me when I was just a, a little girl. Well, like I said, I would have never done in my from my defense, my point of view. I thought that they were almost 18 years old or 18 um, I know Why it's would not you think they're 18 if you're saying, do you want to wait until you're 18? Well, that's what I'm saying. That's it just funny. seems like you're being di dishonest to me. Like, what's yeah, the point of being yeah. doing an interview if you're just going to, you know. I'm being completely honest with you. Like, there are how multiple. Could, how could they have been 18 if you're saying, do you want to wait until you're 18? It doesn't make sense. No, because because I'm telling you, that specific case, she told me she was almost 18. So that's why I was like, do you want to wait until you're 18? But there, there are other cases, you know, or other girls have tried to flirt with me told me they were 18 i found out later that they weren't and i just cut i cut off from talking to them cold turkey but what i'm trying to tell you is i would i've never tried to pursue anything with anyone of like that age level like in my opinion i find that very very disgusting and that's just not in my nature you know what i mean and i honestly like these accusations that i've been getting the last couple of days have been 
absolutely like devastating like i know you don't really know what i'm talking about because this isn't something that's well happened to i mean you. yeah like people really don't mess with pedos like they really don't mess with pedos i'm sure you've had some like close friends that aren't messing with you anymore i mean that's i mean i just feel like if all the if all the facts were laid out or whatever you know and and and, and conversations weren't taken out and it was like People, people were just like, yo, they're six, they're 15, they're 16, and you're just, uh, I, I'd be like, guys, you guys fucking caught me. But that's not the case. You know, I'm, t I'm telling you, she said she was almost 18, and that's how it happened. And, I, again, it doesn't make things any better. I'm not that same person that was three years ago, 2016. I'm on a whole nother level. I'm on a whole nother way of, like, you know, looking at outlook on life. And I just really want to get this message out and let people know the truth about everything and i i really hope that like people can kind of you know i don't want to say people feel sorry for me but i definitely want people to kind of you know sympathize with the situation just look at things from all angles you know uh, and just... uh, all right romeo we're gonna have to leave it there we're just repeating ourselves over and over again guys uh there you have it romeo's side of everything uh i hope you enjoyed this video if you did slap a like on it we're going to stand this story because I'm sure uh, a lot more people will be coming out um, to contest what was said here. Uh, Drum Alert Nation, now over 4,700,000 subscribers. Yeah, we just kept going in circles, man.